Hey guys and gals, Dipper Dash, Sheets Blazekin here, and we are going to be creating uh, the Major from Ghost in the Shell for Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 and my Let's Play here on YouTube. Now, first things first, <laughs> let's change that say it ain't LA. We're going to Newport. Cause that's where the show all began. And she isn't just known as the Major, she's known as Makoto Kusanagi. <laughs> that's a little namer. Now I was kind of um a little bit of a klutz with this when I was first doing this. Because I haven't used the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 creator in quite a while. Uh, so. This is actually pretty limited compared to the creator on American Wasteland which had probably twice as many features to use. Um, so now with the hair, you can't... There, there is one problem with this game in that you can't really have too much of like an anime style hair, so I'm trying to go as close to what she looks like, um, but of course, it's kind of easier said than done with this creator. So, yeah. So first, I was kind of going between the different revisions of this character between either uh, the version of her from Arise or Standalone Complex, Standalone Complex Second Gig. Or, um, for that matter, I guess the new movie, or one of the many different variations of the movie version of her. So, that's how you'll see numerous different outfit changes got this whole deal. At first, I was going to try to create, um... A version from the most common uh, picture of her that all we see, which looks like she's wearing a slight jacket that's black with a purple shirt. But the problem with this character creator is, is it doesn't really let you um, edit the shirt that's underneath the jacket and that's one of the few issues that kind of comes up here as you'll see so in the end I actually kind of go with the uh, one of the snow or padded jackets and just point it black and kind of try to make it look like uh, the tactical version Although, I didn't have my reference up at the time. Usually I have a reference image of some sort to try to match with, but that doesn't always work. So, yeah. Um, I think I might try to do this for American Wasteland later. But the only problem with American Wasteland, and I stayed this many videos back and this is my biggest problem Activision why when in the storylines for underground and underground 2 where you could play a female skater apparently there was no real issues with it and uh, doing the same lines and everything for all the voices
why couldn't they have carried that over into American Wasteland Project 8 and Proving Ground? You know? Um, that was my biggest gripe. Still is. And I may later on, once I get either a PS4 or Xbox One again, I might do a Let's Play of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. So, but top of all this, I also want to support uh, the new game that Tony Hawk is coming out with, and no, Activision is not involved with this new adventure that he's doing. So, yeah. So at this point, I was trying to create the um, Arise version, but you'll see it very quickly, the really screwed up thing with the color coordination with this creator and some of the flaws with it. So eventually went with one of those three jackets there when I was creating this. And so, for anybody that's looking to do a Let's Play like how I'm doing here, and wants to know the setup they use, it's pretty simple. Uh, an Elgato HD, not the HD60, the regular Elgato HD. And then the component composite adapter that it comes with. And then the component cables connected to the PS2. Now, how I'm playing this um, is pretty interesting because uh, the disk drive on this decided to conk out. Because this is the Model 1 of the fat PS2s. So, this is the one still with the Firewire port, the loud ass fan, and was the one well known to conk out on the blue discs, the black discs, and eventually the gold discs. Um, so, yeah, this thing just has a hard time reading my games. So how I'm doing this is I took all my discs and then a SATA to USB adapter. And I also have a hard drive adapter, or a network adapter on here that's modded for SATA. Uh, normally, the network adapter this comes with that you should get packaged with these is the IDE version uh, so I got the SATA modded version here with a 500 gigabytes I believe a Western digital blue drive so yeah uh, running at 5400 RPM just still fast enough and still quicker loading than the disk drive ever was. So. But yeah. And then we're using a modified memory card with free McBoot. You can actually buy those on Amazon when you're looking for just even standard PlayStation 2 memory cards. You'll find some labeled as with free McBoot installed or so on and so forth. So now here is when I just decided to go the tactical route or the tactical looking uh, Makoto. So I figured the shirt wasn't exactly the best fit because it didn't exactly look like the uh, outfit that she wore for the tactical suit up portions of standalone complex so I had to go with the plaited jacket here and then basically make that all black then turn her hair a little bit on the dark purple side of things so but yeah there you go. And as far as the shoes are concerned, I chose biker boots. Put those as all black. And 
and this is how she looked throughout the whole entire playthrough. So, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Now, this isn't going to be a speedrun, and yes, I'll be playing with cheats. Make for that of what you will. But, hey, it's how I like to play. And this is how I played when I was a kid, and this is how I'll play now. So, dislike if you, I mean, hit the dislike button if you dislike it. It's as simple as that. Peace out.